This is the carbon monoxide meter I bought off eBay. I just bought one. It was $32.49. It was not that bad, 32 and that's with their free standard speed pack from China, Hong Kong, Taiwan. So it just, this actually took about a week to get to me. So they estimated almost a full month. So it got to me pretty quick. Um, I'm happy with the meter. Looks like a reasonably good quality product for 32 bucks. Here's my carbon monoxide meter. The brand is Smart Sensor. Intel Instruments Pro. Intel Smarts is the brand name. Go ahead and open it up. There's the meter, instruction booklet, some more instructions on the inside. This, this, this is probably going to be easier to keep with the meter. Uh, I already obviously opened this package before because the meter didn't come with the AAA batteries. I had to buy those and put those in there. Put the battery door back on. A second here. We're going to power it up. Nothing shakes in this meter, so I like that. It seems to be a little higher quality than the uh, carbon dioxide meter I got. So this is actually meant to be hauled around by hand. So that's nice. Um, hit the power button. So, thing about this is it takes about 120 seconds to warm up. So that's actually just a countdown. So there's some warm up time with this meter. So it's like two minutes warm up. And there's a backlight feature for the display, but that doesn't even come on until it's warmed up. And there's uh curiously there's what's there's a mode that will actually capture the high and low readings, whatever you want to capture. I would think you'd always want to capture the high readings for carbon monoxide, but So there is a uh, backlight feature right here, this lower button. If you want to save batteries, probably leave that off. But if you need to see this in some dark area, go ahead and turn it on. Um, another feature is you can change the slower number, which is actually a temperature rating, to either Celsius or Fahrenheit. So it's 24.4 degrees Celsius, or let's just flip it over to Fahrenheit. So in here it's 75.9 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, been a been a, ugh, been a pretty consistent reading for zero for this apartment. So that's good news. I'm not getting carbon monoxide in here. Up here is obviously the actual sensor, right? Probably below this uh, little uh, dome with the holes in it. So I don't know. I wasn't cheap, but it's about 40 bucks. Um, I'm happy with it though. Seems like a quality product in my mind. So one way to generate carbon monoxide is spritz water over some charcoal. This is just a piece of oak bark. I lit up, I'm gonna put it in here and seal it up. Spray some water on it. See how it goes. So it's currently reading at zero parts per million. So I'll just go ahead and spray my Charcoal with a little bit of water. Seal it up. Let's see if we get any changes here. Hey, look at that. You do, uh, you do get carbon monoxide when you spray water over charcoals. So I'm going to let that run for a while. See how much it goes up. Trending the right way. Just want to make sure I don't overheat anything here. Uh oh. Telling me danger, danger. So that obviously things are really going wild here for the carbon monoxide. The meters. Bleeping away.
So the meter is working. That's good to know. My temperature is not bad, so I, I might let this go. I just don't want to wreck my meter. Melt it. So 23.3 degrees Celsius. So we're really getting climbing up there. after a couple minutes the meters still dropping so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it out of here and uh, do some more experiments with this so with the instruction booklet that came with it just a very small booklet it says do not use this meter as a personal safety monitor obviously to avoid litigation they don't want you to use it as a primary safety device anyways they Normal background level, zero to one parts per million. I have zero parts per million. Nine parts per million for living areas. I don't know what that standard is. OSHA, so this is actually what applies to a lot of workspaces in and around the country. That's 100 parts per million. Um, that's exposure limit. So this... uh. OSHA enclosed space, eight hours average level. So if you work in a, I don't know, a gas station or something, who knows what, but hopefully you're not seeing over 50 parts per million in your eight hour shift. Uh, so my meter went over this, is mild headache, fatigue, nausea, dizziness. This, we didn't quite get that high, but it was close. So, 800 parts per million so that's the meter was getting up there but you know I only had something the size of a small like gumball as far as like charcoals and that was just the surface of it spritzed with water and a, probably what two quart container so on this side they give this operating specs from zero degrees Celsius to 50 plus degrees Celsius storage temperature humidity Actually, can, relative humidity can be quite high for this meter to operate properly. 99% relative humidity. So it can read up to 1,000 parts per million. After that, it hits a saturation point. Apparently, the resolution is quite good. One part per million. Actually, plus or minus 10%. Response time. So there, this also has a, war, a warm-up time. I'll show you that. It's, um, if I haven't, depending on how I put the videos together or clips, um, you just don't turn it on it's it takes about 120 seconds for it to warm up you have to buy your own batteries and nice thing about this auto shuts down sensor type typical sensor life three years so you might want to think about buying a new one if you're really doing anything with this for safety every three years